when you're starting a new role, it's very important that you have access to all the things that you need to do and you understand exactly what's expected of you every day. Some companies handle this very well, an onboarding process or having a navigator or someone to kind of guide you through the first few days. Hopefully you have a team lead or a manager that kind of helps you gain access to all these things and it's an easy onboarding process for you. If it's not, then this is an opportunity for you to go and start to raise your social intelligence by figuring out who's responsible for these different systems and starting to get an in with them. I'm thinking back to when I first started my current company and I have somebody I could call with a particular system. She'll know the answer off the top of her head and it's gonna save me hours of probably not even having the access to do the thing I need to do, but she'll know exactly what it is. She helps very quickly. I say thank you and I don't have to talk to her for five more years and she's still gonna be there knocking things out. And the reason that she's willing to take my call is because I say thank you I'm also not super needy. I don't act like the sky is falling every single time I call her because everyone else does that. And so be different. By doing the different thing, you're gonna get a different result than everybody else. So this is the crux of this. You should be thinking about, okay, what systems are there? So you have a navigator, you have somebody that's onboarding you very well. If that system doesn't exist, Again, perfect time for you. Go through those first few weeks, figure out what the systems are, figure out how you had to request it, and then you make the system. And then you feed that back to your team lead or your manager for the next person that gets onboarded to your team. See? So instead of being frustrated about like, wow, I don't exactly know what to do. I don't know how to go about any of this. You can feed this information back to your team lead or your manager, and now you've actually improved. And you don't even know what your job is yet. So th think about how powerful it is, that mindset shift to be I don't wanna be frustrated about this thing. I'm gonna go be productive with this frustration and make it so the next person doesn't have to deal with this. Finding those people that are responsible for those systems that you routinely have to have access to is going to pay dividends over time. And the earlier you do it, the better you curate those relationships, the better you'll be. What was the most surprising system that you have a person that you can go call to get help with that system that really was unexpected down the track? You should drop me a comment down below because I have a couple systems where I never would have expected that this was going to pay such dividends and it really has. And I want you to think about those things right now. Drop me a comment. When you're done with that, you should kick on with the social intelligence playlist I've got for you right up here. Or if you're ready to get back to IQ topics, I got that playlist for you right down here. Or keep doing exactly what you're doing and keep getting all the same results that you've been getting.